Yo, yo guys, and welcome back to the first update on Tropical Depression number one. The Tropical Depression six, should I say, in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, so, this is looking good right now to speak. This is looking good to speak. So for the late update, guys, I do apologize. I was just um, busy doing stuff. But as you can see, as you can see, I do think the area spin is down here. Because you can see a spin over here. You can also see a spin over here. But I clearly think that this part of the system will move up along here. Which if this bit does become the centre, it will have more time over water. And here is the track of uncertainty. The NHC is still one in it. This is Darby. Darby's dead right now. An update won't be out on Darby. This will probably be my last update on Darby. Um... Yeah, this is the NHC's cone of uncertainty, 35 miles an hour, within northwest 8 miles an hour, 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. As you can see, it's meant to be a tropical storm, tropical storm, tropical storm, hurricane, 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 and hurricane. It is meant to keep its hurricane status to, towards Baja, California. Now, whether it will turn and hit Baja, we don't know. It could move more towards the coast. Any any jog towards the east will put it on the coastline. But well, that's not going to happen. It's going to be moving northwest and then out into the open Pacific. Where basically Bonnie died, but Bonnie died here. This is probably this is gonna die up to about here. So it's, this storm is probably gonna be uh, quite a long lasting hurricane. So 90, 96A. Is active 96A is active um, 25 knots at just 30 miles an hour. It looks to be like it's forming, but it is meant to get down to 991 millibars on 18Z model run. They want it to be 8 um, 66Z 992. 12Z, that's for June 15th, it is June 15th today, so, yeah, most of the models want this to form, but they, this is 19Z, which was there, yes, it's now, it's now near the coast, so, it might have a shot of forming, but at the same time, it might not. Uh, here, here are the forecast models. So I'm going to show the North Atlantic first before I show you the East Pack and the West Pack. So you can see this storm intensifying quite fast, and in, in, one in the Pacific. And you kind of see something unusual try and form near the south of the Cobb of the Islands. But that never forms. And then, obviously, 31st. You do have an area of spin. In the north, in the South Caribbean, 
But other than that, it's quiet, quite quiet. In the North Atlantic, we could have some subtropical storm systems, but most likely we we won't get any. We could have a surprise system, but most likely we won't. Uh, show you the only new southern oscillation. It is going back down again. Like I said y yesterday, that this could be going down again and it could be staying down now, as there is a strong anomaly, a strong cold anomaly, upwelling off the coast, which will be pushing that cooler water towards. The Philippines and all that. So basically, we're pushing all this warm, cold. Basically, pushing all that warm water that was here towards Australia and the, this side of the Pacific. So I'll show you the water temps. North Atlantic to start off with. North Atlantic is kind of cooling down a little bit in the Caribbean after Bonnie, but. It is recovering. Uh, south of the Vel Australian coast, that bit's twenty-seven, but that is recovering nicely. You do have a area of splotches of some twenty-sixes coming in, which are in the green zone, yellow zone. Um, yeah, kind of interesting to say the least. Because this heat wave that we had in in the UK, it's warming up the U, the UK waters, and obviously the waters near um, north of Spain, about twenty three degrees. So that is conducive for some. If that gets to like twenty five, twenty six, that is conducive for tropical development. Which won't be pretty good because if it's 25 degrees around England, that could be for where these like, tropical systems weaken up here and then reform near England, become a sort of tropical storm. So that's the Gulf of Mexico is piping hot right now. Western Pacific is also piping hot. Eastern Pacific right now it's not it's not really popping off right now but there is a 30 degree ice firm here and there is some 30 degrees off the coast but other than that um, there's not a lot of 30 degrees on, along the coastline Basically like this. This is basically where the warm bit is. So where the 28 degree waters are. So yeah. Anyway guys that's all I've got time for. For you for today. As you can see. It says Derby is now post tropical. No longer with us. My app. That's what my app saying anyway. Uh. This is the cone of uncertainty, as I say. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Intensity models. Most of, the, most of these I want a category 2 or 3 out of the system. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go to like, comment, subscribe, share. See you on the next video. Peace. Have a good day.